Alors, nous sommes ici dans un parc royal, le parc royal de Klampenborg. On m'a promis de trouver des cerfs. Il y en a 2000 ici, mais bon, on n'a pas trouvé de cerfs, mais on a trouvé des chevaux ici. Ce sont les chevaux, hello, hello, ce sont les chevaux d'un entraîneur mythique ici au Danemark. Et pas qu'au Danemark, c'est Soren Jensen, un entraîneur d'expérience qui a commencé à entraîner en 1975. Aussitôt, il a été deuxième du prix Marcel Boussac, et oui, en France, avec une deux ans. Il a eu Frédérico, il a eu des tas de champions et il va nous raconter un peu sa vie d'entraîneur. Hello Soren. Hello, hello. How are you today? I'm very fine. So, can you explain where we are here? They are going into the ride that have been done, uh, training on our training grounds. And uh, we're here in the nearby, we have our great park on 2000 acres with 2000 deer as well. And then uh, walk here to. Yeah, to, to, to come down after the race and follow the racing in Dubai uh, last couple of years, but uh, unfortunately we didn't have any horses to that was good enough to go down there. But this year we had two, uh, have a two old filly at that time and uh, a four year old that was Danish bred who was really going on the upgrade. Called Good Fortune. Good Fortune, yes. And we went down there mid, uh, mid uh, December. And our first race for them was uh, late in April, uh, late in January. And uh, actually, I didn't know where he, because he's not uh, the mm. best of work uh, uh, horse to work with. He, uh, yeah, he's very, very actually a little bit lazy. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know where he, his form was good enough. But uh, again, he was a horse. He actually prefers soft ground. And the chances of getting a soft ground in, in, in Dubai is close to nil. <laughs> But uh, unfortunately, it started raining really a lot. Raining day. in Dubai? It did. I probably, I think, as I've heard, it was actually the first uh, time it actually rained for only a couple of years almost. Good fortune picked up the lead. White Wolf on his outside, then Zaman, and also moving strongly is Falling Shadow. Then White Heart up the far side. Blue Trail was next. Good fortune is all out. On the far side, Falling Shadow. Then comes White Wolf nearest us. Good fortune clings on for dear life. In fact, found a little bit more in the dying stages. And Good fortune is just about seen off White Wolf. Monté à Medan par le jockey français Théo Bachelot en provenance du Japon et conseillé à Soren Jensen par sa vie vieille amie suédoise Pia Brandt, Good Fortune remporte de très hautes luttes la Zabel Turf, offrant alors la toute première victoire à Dubaï à un pur cheval danois, puisque ce fils de la star locale, Apelomètre, a grandi dans le nord du Jutland, à Yortobo. Are you proud about that? Very much, very much. I'm proud about the horse, I'm proud about the whole team that has been behind it, so uh, yes, I'm a proud man for that. Yeah, I was actually started uh, my... My father was a blacksmith at the ferrier, mm -hmm. so I was actually halfway born into racing and was uh, starting off as a jockey, as a apprentice. Mm -hmm. I was down to 35 kilos, so I think I could make a career as a jockey. I started riding as a 15-year-old, but when I was 19, I was up to double my weight and, and double my height, so my career was actually over within a few years. And then. Uh, I went to America for half a year to get some experience and then I came back and then I started off as a trainer as a teenager. Yeah. En 1975, il a commencé à entraîner, c'était l'année de ma naissance, incroyable. Et juste un an ou deux après, il fait un truc de dingue, il vient à Longchamp disputer le prix Marcel Boussac. Just after one or two years of training, you come in France to run in a group one. Unbelievable. It was at uh, that time, I actually, in, in, uh, I started off as a trainer in 75, 19 years old. When I was 21, I got my first derby winner. And at 21, your first derby winner? With yeah. which horse? Ascot. Ascot, well, Ascot, like uh, you. Very, Ascot, come very go. good name, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, at that time, I was training in the province. Mm -hmm. And I got some new owners from, uh, from the capital of Copenhagen. And, uh, Uh, they say, okay, maybe there's a young man over there know what he's doing. So uh, I got some good horses there. Mm -hmm. And then we ended up buying a Pompus as a, as a yearling. Mm -hmm. She was bought for 
actually is uh, 30.000 francs. <laughs> 30 000 francs, eh oui, à l'époque, mm -hmm. effectivement. Pompeus, ça s'appelle. Yeah. Une pouliche qui gagne 7 courses ici, 7 seven, seven wins in a row, c'est ça hein? In a row, yeah. In a row, 7 courses ici, et qui tente sa chance à Longchamp dans le prix Marcel Boussac, le groupe 1. Yeah. Et vous terminez deuxième. And you finish second. She finished second very short beaten by a very good horse named Arian. Ah oui, la fameuse Arienne montée par euh, Yves Saint-Martin, évidemment. Exactly. And uh, you, uh, vous arrivez là-bas, uh, vous n'aviez pas de costume, you had no suits. No, no, I did. We have been going to the countryside and uh, we, we never wear shoes and did much of that. At that time, it was a very strict uh, dress code in, in France, <laughs> but uh, we, we managed anyway. <laughs> so finish second. It was an unbelievable performance. And then, uh, if we have to talk about one, if we have to cite a grand cheval, celebre, apart bien sûr, ce good fortune, c'est quoi? Frederico, your best horse ever, the most famous horse ever. It was Frederico, an unbelievable horse. He was he was uh, he was bred in, bred in, in France by uh, Sven Hansen and uh, Viewpoint Stud at that time, and uh, he was unbeaten in three seasons in in uh, in, uh, in Denmark. He's a little bit difficult horse to train. I think uh, good fortune. Uh, we didn't didn't know whether how he would keep his form from from Dubai, but it looked like he he do. He was second here, uh, short very shortly beaten here the other day. Uh, there was a horse that was fatally injured in the race and he had to to pull up and then go around it. So he will go for Norway in two weeks time, in the biggest race up there. And then uh, hopefully he's still ready and then we go for which is the 30th of September. Et alors j'imagine que ce sera un accomplissement dans la carrière d'un entraîneur danois. Would it be uh, the best accomplishment of your career to win in the ARC weekend, the Prix Dollar? Yeah, of course. Now we have been second in a Group 1, and then we could win a Group 2, that would be great. And there have been a, a Danish horse, uh, been a uh, Danish tread, trained horse, uh, Denomast. Uh, Denomast, who's actually been trained from the same premises where I'm standing now, so it is possible from that. For that point. <laughs> so uh, we have been winning a couple of group races in Germany and it uh, could be uh, not easy it's a final end but it would be nice to have a group win in France as well because I'm very fond of, of French racing. I've followed it for, for years so uh, could I not end but I could I put that on my to-do list as well. <laughs> it would be great. <laughs> to-do list. Thank you very much. Thank you Zoran. <laughs>